Hey church, I want to just, I want to encourage you uh, with something that I was reading the other day, a little bit of a devotional out of Jeremiah chapter 18, maybe some verses uh, that you're familiar with. Uh, Jeremiah 18 verse 1 says, Then the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Jeremiah says in verse 3, Then, then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel as it seemed good to the potter to make. A couple of things I want to bring to your attention. You know, it's interesting. Uh, God says to Jeremiah, arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I'll cause you to hear my words. Now, it's really interesting because Jeremiah is already hearing God's words. God's giving him instruction to go to the potter's house, but God had a specific place for him to go so that he could get the message that God was wanting to give. And I think there's something to that. I think sometimes God sends us to specific places. Maybe for you, that, that's tuning in to church. God's sending you to a specific place place. Maybe for you, it's at your work. Maybe for some of you, it's being at home in the season. God, God is sending you to a specific place and is there in that place, you'll actually get a clearer understanding and a clearer revelation of what He's wanting to say to you and the message He's trying to get across to you. And then as we read the story, there are a few items that, that stick out to me. The first is the clay, which is a picture of our life. And frankly, the clay, it's useless unless it's in the hand of the potter. Can I tell you that there is nothing of eternal value in our life outside of God's will, outside of being in His hand. God has dug us from the miry clay, the miry pit of life, from a fallen humanity, and He's chosen to use us. We are in His hands, and He is at work in our life. He's at work in us and through us. And as He is, as He shapes us, He's shaping us into the image of His Son, Jesus. But here's the thought. In order for that clay to be shaped, in order for that clay to be pliable and moldable in the potter's hand, it needed to be wet. It needed to be damp. And I wonder, has my life, has your life become hardened by this situation? When's the last time we allowed the, the water of the Holy Spirit to refresh us and to to saturate us so that we could once again be pliable and moldable in the hand of of the potter. I want you to notice it says that the clay was marred in the potter's hand. I think that's fascinating. And I think, so, I think it speaks to the fact that, that God knows our issues. That God is familiar with our, our hurts, our hangups, our, our habits. That God is familiar with the pain and the fear and the worry that maybe we are even feeling right now in this moment. We're in His hands and He's familiar with our situation and yet those things do not stop Him from continuing to mold us and continuing to shape us, continuing to use us for His glory. There's another item in this story that, that sticks out to me and that's the potter's wheel. The clay is upon the potter's wheel. And I think this is a, a, a picture of the purposes and the power of God. That as we're on this potter's wheel, He, he uses the different situations of, of life, the different seasons and the different trials and the different troubles of life. He uses those things to shape us and to mold us. He's able to take even things that the enemy has meant for evil and turn it for His good. He molds us, as I said, into the image of His Son, Jesus. And He uses those trials and those seasons of life to produce maturity in our life. And then there's one final element in this story I want you to see, and that's the potter. It's a picture of God. And I want you to notice that we are in His hands. He is not in our hands. There is a God, and it's not you. <laughs> there is a God, and it's not me and he is at work in our life. He is in control. He has a plan. This whole situation, the, the specific circumstances of your situation have not taken him by surprise. No, he knows exactly what he is doing and he's using these situations, he's using these circumstances to shape us and to mold us. We are his workmanship. I'm reminded of Ephesians 2 10. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. He's creating us and He's molding us for a specific purpose and that's to bring glory to the name of Jesus, to go into our spheres of influence and to point people to our risen Savior. 
couple of things I want us to consider as we get ready to close this. Number one, is my life pliable in the hands of the potter? Or do I need a refreshing from the Holy Spirit? Maybe if you haven't spent some time praying in a little while, it might be worth just getting on your knees for a few minutes alone, maybe in your closet, alone in your room, and just say, Holy Spirit, help me see what you're doing in this season. Holy Spirit, I surrender to what you're wanting to do in me and through me in this season. Holy Spirit, reveal Jesus to me afresh in this season and allow the water of the Holy Spirit, allow that anointing to just saturate our lives so that we become pliable once again in the hand of the potter. Here's another thought to consider. Am I content with the vessel that God is creating me to be or am I jealous of other vessels? Am I looking at other people and the gifts and the purposes for which God has created them and has molded them? And am I jealous of other vessels? Now listen, you have been created on purpose and for a purpose. There's something on the inside of you that the world needs right now, that those in your sphere of influence need right now. You are important. Don't look at other people and what they do. They got their own specific call and their own specific purpose. God has a call for your life. You are a vessel created in His image and in His workmanship. You've been created for a specific plan for good works in this season. Listen, He is the potter. We are the clay. He has a plan. And he wants to use us in the midst of this situation and bring glory to the name of Jesus. I pray that we would submit to his gentle touch and allow him to do his work in us and through us so that the name of Jesus will go forward in the earth. Church, we love you so much. We can't wait to see you again really soon.